The future electric grid is going to have many intelligent nodes distributed over a wide geographical area. No longer will be the case that you have a centralized plant and just electrical wires carrying electricity to a customer prem with some intelligence at a substation. Increasingly with renewable energy and with electric vehicles and homes that have smart appliances, these intelligent nodes are going to be distributed over the entire grid. What that does is it gives physical access to intelligent devices to potential hackers. The cybersecurity challenge is obvious in that. In addition, we want to manage this grid and manage its various assets from remote locations. That requires some type of a public internet to then be connected to this electric grid. That has to be done very carefully because the number of cybersecurity threat vectors that this opens is incredible. While it creates a lot of convenience that a grid operator can sit anywhere from their smartphone or an iPad or a computer, control parts of the grid or their home for that matter, the challenge is that how do you stop a hacker from doing exactly that and doing something nefarious in the process. This requires a systems engineering approach. We have to look at the typical transactions that will occur on the grid. From those transactions, distill what the requirements are for communications and for cybersecurity and make sure that the underlying protocols and the technologies that are supporting those transactions actually meet those requirements through a rigorous certification process. But even that is not enough. This is a top-down approach. What is really needed is a hybrid approach with top-down using these transactions and the analysis I just described, but a bottoms-up approach also that does components testing to see how hardened those systems are. And then to put those components together in systems and test those systems against all types of threat vectors. When you combine the top down with the bottom up approach in what I would call the hybrid approach, then you have the ability to mitigate many of the known risks as well as find a way to deal with the unknown risks. In the absence of such a systems engineering methodology, you are basically left in the dark to the smart hacker who may find a way to overcome all your defenses. The smart grid offers an amazing opportunity to enable applications that can keep the cost of electricity affordable, reduce the carbon footprint, and make life generally easier for the consumer. But it also opens up a Pandora's box of cybersecurity threat vectors, which if not managed properly, could quickly remove the benefits that smart grid provides.